X-ray fluorescence is another key characterization technique used to analyze the film thickness and elemental composition. We know that ABX is also used to analyze the sample composition, but XRF is advanced technique than ABX. It is used to analyze the sample composition qualitatively and quantitatively. Qualitative means that if there is a sum, there is a element lead exists in the sample, there is an element iron, there is an element cobalt or copper, this means qualitatively. It will analyze that the sample lead is exist. Quantitative means that what is the atomic percent of iron exists in that sample? What is the weight percent of copper exists in that sample? This means quantitative means number. Right? XRF is basically a non-destructive technique. Non-destructive technique means that the sample can be used again and again. So this means that the X-ray do not destroy the sample. Is it clear from the name that simple there is an X-ray in fluorescence? Now let's understand what is fluorescence basically mean. We know photoluminescence. There are two types of photoluminescence. One is fluorescence, another is phosphorescence. Here in this case, we simply, uh, the, the, the fluorescence will basically mean, anywhere you see the word fluorescence, this means emission of light. In this case, it is the emission of X-ray here. But the interesting thing is, we bombard the substance by X-ray and it, it also emit X-rays. Let me show you the working principle here and it's from this figure. This is, this is the sample here. Uh, this is the uh, sample. Let's suppose this is the sample lead. Let's suppose our iron, whatever the sample is, right? So this we just shine the incident X-ray here. When we shine the incident X-ray, so it just knock out the electron and just take it to the excited state. Now we know that to get the atom stable, so there are electron in the outer orbits. So it will just start falling to that empty place. So because of that, we have X-ray here and this is we call fluorescence emissions. As this is the characteristics of the element, this is why it gives us the element information that iron is exist, uh, cobalt is exist, copper is exist, and uh, moreover any element lead is exist. Because every element uh, have their characteristic characteristics X-rays. Just like we know that in XRD we have uh, the, the pattern like the, the fingerprint of a human being. So from that pattern, we know that every compound. Here, uh, from this uh, XRF, the, the fluorescence X-ray, X, X we know the element, that which element is exist.